all of nature is reciprocal. It's giving back and forth. And so the, the plants absorb carbon dioxide. They don't give back carbon dioxide, they give back oxygen. That's their gift. And so there is a reciprocation that, that's not always the same. And yet there's a mutuality. And I believe that word is, was in the definition. There's a mutual, mutual benefit. True reciprocity is a giving back and forth that not only benefits both parties, but actually benefits the whole, the whole field in which those two parties find themselves. There is a magic to reciprocity. We can track it in terms of energy and matter in the world in which we live. So from a scientific standpoint, we can watch how it works. And then we can note how it works in our own experience as human beings. We have something to give back and forth. I use the example of having uh, someone over to dinner and exchanging the favor. In the human world, reciprocity often has a financial dimension. We're involved in reciprocity in that way all the time. We go to the store, we receive some goods, and we give back some, some cash. Uh, these days, all, often plastic cash, but Nonetheless, we give back some financial value. It's said that human beings are the crowning creation. We could argue about that. We certainly don't always act like it. In all this exchange, I think sometimes we miss out on the crowning exchange that we have a chance to share. That exchange isn't just substance and it's not just money. In fact, the exchange of substance of all kinds and money can sometimes get in the way of us paying attention to the crowning creation or in this case, the crowning reciprocity which is an exchange of something of a spiritual nature described as kindness, perhaps, but it is an exchange of human energy, of love, of care, and then ultimately of presence, of presence. So think of that in terms of re reciprocation and going back the other way. And then think of what we have the opportunity to share in this exchange right now. 